Okay, good evening. Welcome to New Zealand's post-match press conference with Captain Sam Kane and Head Coach Ian Foster. Ian, if you'd like to make a few opening remarks. Um, heck of a final. Um, it's always high emotion, both sides of the, the fence in a final. And this will be no different. 12-11, um, and I just firstly want to congratulate South Africa on what they've achieved. They've uh, showed a lot of character and tenacity through this tournament. That's three close games that they've come out the right side, so they're doing something right. So um, congratulations to them on, on a magnificent tournament. Um, for us, uh, it's, it's heartbreaking. And I looked at the effort of, of our team and the way we played and came back and Gave ourselves a really good crack at that in that second half, particularly with um, with the red card in the first half and, and the, the sort of the damage that, that that decision made. So overall, incredibly proud of our team, but um, we've got a pretty disappointed shed. Thanks, Ian. If you could please raise your hand clearly for questions. We'll start here on the left. Uh, Martin Devlin from New Zealand. Um, obviously, commiserations to you both. I'd like you both to address um, this, Ian. Um, before it turns into a David Beckham moment back home, it's so unfortunate, the red card for Sam, and um, there's no malicious intent in that at all. But I'd just like you to speak about the inspiration that he's given this team throughout this tournament. And Sam, if, uh, if you could just, I know it's so bloody hard, but tell us what the emotion is going through you at the moment as well. It must be so tough, mate. Yeah, well, I think, um, I think we've all seen um, the way Sam's contributed to the game, to, to our team behind the scenes, been fantastic, and it's um, you know worthy of 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 being captain of the All Blacks, which is a fantastic honour and a privilege. And I think he's carried that magnificently well. I'm incredibly proud of him, and proud to coach him. And you know, it's a tough old day at the office. Um, when that happens, and you'll be feeling a lot of emotion, I guess. But um, and so there's a few issues there. One, one is you look at the decision and think, okay, well, it is what it is. We can't control that, unfortunately. Well, I didn't feel we got the rub of the green in that first half, so we had to try and make our own luck. But that was a one that went against us. And but the second thing is the is the heart and soul that the team showed afterwards. And, and to stay in that fight, and I think that's largely due to the, the spirit of the group and the spirit of the leaders, and even though Sam wasn't on it, he was a big part of that. So um, hopefully that's answered your question, Marty. Yeah, so uh, just so, so much hurt right now. It's actually hard to find the words to, to explain it. Um, but so so so, it, it's hard because you're feeling so much hurt. But at the same time, you're so proud of the group and how they fought back, um, and really gave themselves a good shot at winning that game. Um, so I think it speaks volumes of the group as a whole. They're a, a fantastic group of men who care so much um, about playing for the All Blacks. I care so much about making New Zealand proud. Um, so, yeah, as Fozzie said, the, the, there's a lot of heartbreak in the sheds right now, and um, it's hard. Thank you. And the next question here in the middle on the left. Raise your hand clearly. Thank you. Microphone, please. Yeah, Sam, could you just give us your read uh, on on the red card and, and what you made of it and, and also you, Ian, afterwards, if you could? Look, there at the time, um, I wasn't even aware. It sort of caught me off guard, the fact that it stepped back. But, look, we've been at this tournament for what, two months now and anything around the head um, has ramifications. And, um, look, I'm not here... To discuss whether it's right, wrong, or what happened, nothing can't be changed, and it's something. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to live with.
forever. Well, I really don't want the game to be about us talking about red cards. It's um, it is what it is. It's um, well, there'd be plenty of time to analyse that. There, did, there didn't seem to be. There was an attempt to wrap. There didn't seem to be a lot of force in the contact. Uh, the hit on Artie had a lot of force going into that contact and had a direct contact on the head. So, the game's got a few issues. It's got to sort out, and and that's I don't know. That's not sour grapes, but it's. You've got two different situations with different variables, and one's a red card, one's a yellow card. And that's the game. Thank you. Next one on, at the front on the right. Thank you. Ian, uh, Ian de Koning, Rugby 365. Um, you touched briefly on it earlier, and I know emotions are high. But can you just speak to us what makes this Springbok team? I mean, you've play, played against plenty of Springbok teams, and sometimes they give up and they, or they gave up. What makes this particular Springbok team so difficult to beat? Well, they just know their game. They're strong, they know their game, um, experienced, and. Um, and you know, clearly they've learned how to how to fight in in dark places. You know, you can't argue with the three close wins they've had in this tournament. And so they've got a lot of tenacity in that space. Yeah, they've got the ability to play the game at their pace. And um, yeah. Thank you. The next question at the back in the middle. Thank you. Uh, Ian up the back. Um, is it more frustrating given the cards um, and obviously a lot of fight and spirit in this team to come back and to hold on? Is it more frustrating to see chances slip by and the fact this game could have been won? Yeah, I think so. I think, oh, I think it'd be... Um, Wrong to say we had all the chances. I think they had some chances too, and I think both both teams, you know, there was a pressure, there was a pressure cooker environment, wasn't there? And, and you could see players from both teams making a few errors that maybe they wouldn't normally make. So, um, but but to get ourselves back to where we got, score that try, have it disallowed, and then go back and score it again, I thought was pretty cool and got us in the game. Um, and 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 all you can ask, so I guess, is a couple of opportunities to to you need one opportunity in, in those sort of tight test matches. And I thought we gave ourselves every chance. So um, it wanted to be, um, but it, it doesn't sort of change in many ways. I, I mean, I'm we're all gutted. Sam and I gutted sitting here. We so desperately wanted to win this, um, but oh, I'm probably equally proud. And I thought the the attitude to to go in there and, and play against a, a mighty team, you, you know, you go back eight or nine weeks, however long it was, when we when we went down a card with them, the, the score was a very different score. And so I think we'd learned a lot. I think we'd had to play like that. I didn't want to play like that, but had to and adapted and... Um, I'd like to think that it was a we, we contributed massively to a pretty special final with a bit of drama and two teams that uh, put everything on the line. Thanks, Ian. Next one on the left there. Ian, uh, commiserations. Uh, amazing final between two teams that went hammer and tongs. It was also a final that featured the TMO a lot. And you, I know you don't want this to come across as sour grapes, but in your mind, does the TMO have too much of a role, in, particularly in big games like this? Yeah, it's probably for the game to decide at some point. I mean, it's not tonight. I mean, we've we got the same behaviour from that TMO that we got in the Irish series last year. Same TMO, so we expected what we got. Thank you. Next question. On the right. Thank you. Ian, there was uh, the lineout was uh, one of the biggest battle in the on the ground. In the first uh, in the first minutes, uh, you had some some issues there. Mm -hmm. Then you fixed it, and but you throwed mainly at the front. It was for the weather, for the conditions, or it's it a choice because the uh, opposition left you the the front of the lineout. Yeah. Um 
a little bit of everything there, to be honest. I, I, um, they, they do leave you the front, and and so there was a while there, you know, particularly in that second half, we were quite happy to take it because it's it was really becoming sort of a, a carry retention type game, wasn't it? In those conditions, the ground was a bit slippery, the ball was a bit slippery, so winning the ball became the number one priority. Um, but you know, I, I think our lineup went well. I thought we disrupted theirs. Um, and, and put them under pressure in that space. So, you know, it's... Um, and you know, we had a couple of really good line-out wins on their ball that I think we squandered a little bit uh, and gave the ball back to them a little bit too quick. So there's... Look, there's always going to be some things that, that we'll regret. Um, but, um, you know, the effort, and I thought that part, part of our game went well. Thanks. Next question here. <coughs> Ian, with uh, Sam off the field, Geordie shifted into the scrum for the scrum battle. Was there a discussion at half-time about whether the, you know, keeping him in the midfield to sort of defend against the set piece from the spring box or keep him in that scrum? Yeah, you have that, you have that strategy. You either go one way or other. We, we felt we needed to... Um, the, the spring box through this whole tournament have, have shown a desire to scrum for penalties. Um, we didn't want to give them that, that out... Um, in fact, oh, I thought we were the one putting them under, under pressure in the last part of that game. Um, but um, so we really felt that we'd, we'd take take the chances, and, and we were willing to concede a bit of wide space, which you know they were pretty efficient at taking. But we we may have lost twenty or thirty metres, but at least we got the ball back. So one of those strategies you play. Um, happy with what we did, by the way. On the left. Ian, it's the, um, the end of your journey with the All Blacks, with some ups and downs. Which, uh, what will you keep of it, out of it? What were my what, sorry? It's uh, what will you, which memories will you keep of your journey with the All Blacks that's coming to an end? Oh, I'd say there's a lot more ups and downs. To be fair, uh, it's a privilege. Um, it's not something that you that you just sort of. You hope you get, and um, it's a privilege to have, and I've been privileged to be part of a special group of people. What's the highlights? Probably today. You know, we lost, but um, what you want as a coach is to get your team on the on the big stage and, and to have your team put their best foot forward. And um, and like I said, didn't get the result, the circumstances we had to adapt to, but couldn't be more proud. Thank you. I'm not seeing any further hands raised. So, Sam, Ian, we really appreciate your time. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.